I'm unstoppable, stopping me's impossible I'm conquering the obstacle, they captain you the constable Melt you like a popsicle, these rappers looking comical They say they really six Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Red Couch uh, Spoken Priestess, Meg Mafia mm -hmm. I had to get it in I had to say it this way But like I started thinking of like the fact that I don't have enough ladies on the couch So I started with Meg Mafia and I've had more before, but I, I need more and I thought of you Aww, man. And also because I've been seeing your tweets and I'm like, we need to talk Yes, we <laughs> need to talk, let's talk How are you doing? I'm good, I'm Yeah. Good, busy Tired, but grinding. Busy doing what? Shooting? Shooting. Um, I was on MTV recently doing the cypher. Yeah. Uh, you know, MTV, you got gotcha's end of the season. So it's a lot of shooting up and down in, in SA. So, yeah. How did you get into TV? I've always been on TV, actually. 2009, yeah. I was on Soul Buddies. So that's where I started out. And then eventually it just progressed and now i'm rapping on mtv base yeah so you know nice put on wow. i saw that we posted it by the way nice one i yeah, like I saw, I saw. what you were rapping about makes yeah. me happy Aww. let's talk about the rap part yeah like you've been struggling on that end in terms yeah. of fighting staying in the game mm. letting go i mean that kind of a battle how's it going with that what what's going on why do you sometimes feel like i'm done because the pressure gets so much, you know what I mean? When, you, when you're aiming for something in life and you don't reach that pinnacle when you feel like you need to, it, 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 dumbs, you, it dumbs you down and you have to take a step back and reevaluate the situation. Say, you know what, I'm not there yet, but what can I do to, to get there? And sometimes you just wake up demotivated, but I suppose it's people like you that keep me going. Yeah. So at least it, it's, it's, it's there. I know it's there. It's just a matter of executing, yeah. you know? So, yeah. You haven't dropped music since like February yeah like a, an actual your own song yeah you just got you were just on Rashid's song so yeah. how's the music process working is it interrupted by the fact that you're filming or is that whole you wake up and don't feel like writing you wake up and you feel like writing you know I've been working on my mixtape for the past three years now yeah so I'm dropping that in the next two weeks um, I thought you know what let me just take my time with it and not rush the process because there's, there's a lot of emotions that I had to bring out again, you know, it's yeah. called Boxed and Drive, so that's coming up. And uh, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna give people too much, you know, you have to make them hungry. So yeah. I said, you know what, let me, let me, let me wait a little bit. And um, yeah, the project's on its way. So it's been, it's been in the works. It's been in the what way. happened on Stories to Tell? Because this mixtape has been in the making for like three years. Yeah. But you were able to drop Stories to Tell. Yeah. So how, how was that? going on at the same time well if you when i look at it now stories to tell was pretty much based on the evolution of make mafia you know and boxed and drive was where make mafia began so i'm speaking about literally where the first studio was um and my lifestyle there so it was easy for me to differentiate the two um and then figure out which one would be make mafia now and which one was make mafia then you know so yeah it was easy for me what's to the job. difference what's the growth i mean I always say we never stop growing, but yeah. I mean, what's the difference between then and now? What are some of the things you've learned, some of the things you're doing better? I think it's the maturity, you yeah. know? Mentally, I've matured. I think emotionally, spiritually, in all aspects, I've matured. And I think you have to grow with your fans. So that's what I'm trying to do now, is trying to show them that, listen, there is space for you to become better, to, be, to, to do good, you know, within, within yourself and within your music. So. Yeah, I think now it's just a matter of showing them the evolution, you know, and speaking about how it was back then and showing them that you can change. So it's pretty much speaking to the fans in all aspects. Yeah. Why does it seem like your sister's being signed? Yeah. When everybody's like, oh, they be independent, like Flex literally did not take his Vuzu Hustle contract, yeah. you know? And here you are, like you want to be signed. What's what's your perspective on that? You know what? Things have actually changed. My mindset's actually changed because I've been offered so many contracts, and I mean, I signed one and I had to terminate it because they weren't. Let's put it this way: they didn't put me in my crib. I was meant to be in my crib first of July. Never put me in my crib. So if you can't even put me in my crib, how are you going to support my career? How are you going to push that? And when I looked at, at people in the industry now and labels, they don't really know what they're doing. You know, they, their mindset is so old school that they have no idea of how the new school works. So I said to myself, you know what, I'd just rather open my own label. And that's what I'm going to do by the end of the year, I'm going to open my label. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Is it just for you? Because it usually starts with the need to be able to do things yourself. Yeah. 
are you good are you planning on signing more people eventually i feel like i need to show myself that i can do it on my own you know i don't want to bring an artist and be like those other labels bring an artist in and you don't do anything for yeah. them you know i want to i want to be better in that aspect so yeah it's gonna just be me under that label for now right. how do you maintain this dream like it can't be easy <laughs> you know yeah Writing a label, that's like a whole business you need capital yeah. to start a business you need money to be a rapper like everything you do as a rapper just requires capital yeah. how do you maintain this whole process i suppose it's just the way i've really put my mind and placed my mind because up until this point funny enough i've never spent a cent you know and um, for me, that you say you have sponsors or what? No, no. Oh, just joking. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the mafia. I'm a hustler, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Sometimes you have to just use your brain. You know, people yeah. forget. Everyone's like, oh, you must money, money, money. You just need to use your mind for one minute. You know, and it's not all about money and and and, and financial injection. You know, if you have the talent and you have the right contacts and you have the right connections, I feel like you can achieve pretty much anything. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, you don't wake up with connections. Right? No, you don't. Yeah. That's why I think you do. I wish I woke up with connections. Yeah. No, you have to go out and find them. You know, you have to really go out and find them. You can't rely on people. That's it's, it's obvious. You can't. So you have to go to the right places at the right time. Know who's gonna be there. Know what to say, and 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 make sure that you execute. Because you can put ideas in the air, but if you don't execute, then what's the point? Yeah. You know. So. That's true. So let's talk about girls in the game, right? Mm -hmm. Since we're playing in that pool and we always bring it back to the girls in the game. Yeah. And we can't deny it, it's who we are, you know. <laughs> but like, in terms of looking at the ladies in the game, mm. for, for just off the bat, how do you feel about the progress that the ladies in the game are doing right now? I'm actually very proud of them, to be quite honest. I'm not one of those females that are going to hate on the girls because they're succeeding and because they're females, you know. I'm very, very proud of them, especially Juju LeMay and Fifi Cooper for opening up her own label, you know. Those girls are really doing well for themselves. I just feel like we need to recognize that there's other females that have other potential and have other talents that they can contribute to the game. We need to stop focusing on the ones that have made it already, you know, and look at the underground ones for a change. Um, like Nels, for example, you know, she's really, really good at what yeah, she does. Yeah, I like her. I love Nels. She's yeah. such a fighter also. Yeah. She's always like, I'm, I'm knocking, I'm knocking. <laughs> I like it's that. just doing really well, you know, yeah. but we need to recognize that and give them an opportunity, you know. So that's what I'm fighting for is for the females that haven't been recognized, but I'm proud of the ones that have. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, what is the biggest miscon misconception? <laughs> Dictionary? Put the, can you please put the word here <laughs> for them to see what I was trying to say? It's okay. What is the biggest misconception about lesbian rappers? Because, I mean, a lot of ladies come out and they're like, you have to be tough to be in the game. Yeah. But I mean, you're already tough. So yeah. what is the biggest misconception about lesbian rappers? They think, you know what, people think it's so stereotypical, man. They think that I'm here to, like you said, it's aggressive yeah. and you're going to fight and you're going to do this. But it's not even the case. I'm the most romantic person you'll ever find. Yeah. And I like them roses and them butterfly yeah. talks, you know. But um, that's the problem. When it, when, when it comes to me, they're all like, okay, so why aren't you dropping bars? Why aren't you spitting flames? It's not that I can't. Of course I can. Yeah. I just choose not to because I want to give music that the older generation can listen to, that the younger generation can listen to. But now if I'm constantly talking and using profanity and, you know, gang signs, like, I'm not about that. Man. Yeah. And then I have, I have trouble with people accepting the fact that I'm not your typical lesbian rapper, you know. So it is what it is. Yeah. Your writing is very old school, though. Like, even on stories to tell, it's got the late 90s beats your flows are also like that even your mtv freestyle is on that tip <laughs> yeah. like it's kind of conflicting like you're saying people expect you to come through doof, doof, you know yeah. shoot your head off but i mean your influence is also kind of like really mc light messy type how do you merge that it's very difficult i must say because now they you know society expects you to conform and I don't want to conform because growing up, I listened to your old school rappers, Queen Latifah, EVE, The Brat, Left Eye, you can go on for days. And that's where I got my inspiration and that's where I got my flows and, you know, rhyme schemes from. So trying to supply for this generation is very difficult yeah. because my soul is so old, you know. But um, it's just a matter of, I think, bringing in the new elements and combining it with the old elements and making something different. So that's what I want to do. I want to combine the two and make something unique. You know, and I, I think I've achieved it so far. Who are your biggest fans? Just saying 
trying to make music for you know the kids of today mm. is tricky and I, I i i get it i know yeah. what you're talking about because it's like almost like a different language altogether <sighs> crossing Man. that bridge but i mean so then who are your biggest fans you know because you're fairly young yourself yeah um but your music also speaks to like a different vibration yeah. altogether it's it's the teenagers you know the teenagers from i think from 12 to about 17. Um, I don't know if it's because they think, I, I don't know, I'm the female version of Justin Bieber. I don't, I think, maybe, <laughs> perhaps. We need to investigate, <laughs> could be, could be. <laughs> um, but no, I think it's just because they can relate. You know, a lot of the music that I speak about, um, especially like in Stories to Tell, it's like teenage life affairs. Um, now that I'm 20, going on 21, it's, it's, it's now evolving with them. Like I said, I'm growing with them. So I started off when I was, what, 14, turning 15? And um, yeah, ever since then, it's been the same audience, it's been the same people, the kids at high school, you know, when I go and perform there, it's crazy, the feedback yeah. is mad, you know. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm giving what they want, you know, and you have to supply for your fans, you have to put them first. You can't put yourself first and be like, this is great, I'm doing an amazing job. Yeah. And they're like, okay, but we're not feeling it, you know. Yeah. So before I drop anything or whatever, I always bring the small crowd in, you know. A small crowd of teenagers or kids. And see if they enjoy the vibe, you know. Yeah. It's all about putting a smile on faces, you know. So it is what it is. What keeps you going? Because I can, I can tell that you like the fact that other people can channel you. Yeah. Um, very young, and you spoke about the fact that sometimes you just like whatever yeah. I've, I've seen in your moments where you're like i'm quitting rap tomorrow and yeah. I'm like, wait what stop you know it, yeah you know. um but like what really keeps you going in that moment when you're like damn it i quit what <sighs> brings you back all the time you know what's strange is that a lot of people say that oh my family doesn't support what i do with it but my family actually keeps me going um my parents every time i say i'm gonna go and get a job i'm done with this life they're like no you're not you want to get a job, you're going to get out the house. So it's completely opposite, you know. So um, I just, I keep going because of them. I have a baby sister, you know, she's adopted. So I need to make sure that I'm supplying for the people in my life first. You know, charity starts at home. So I can't give up on something that God has given me and, and let it go to waste. You know, when I know that I have the full potential of accelerating in the game. So yeah, it's it's my family and it's people like you again. Yeah, yeah. like keep my <laughs> mind going. You know, when yeah. when you say to me, it's not about giving up. You have to just keep going. You have to keep trying because you never know. I could be a day away from yeah, that's true. Succeeding and I give up a day before that. You know, so yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you too. That's so powerful, <laughs> man. That's so powerful. So the mixtape is, is it coming out this year? Or, yes. Okay. Next two weeks. Are we, oh, it's done. That is done. What are the elements on there? You're saying you, you're trying to bait us? What is after that? Because you're like, you don't want to give us too much. Yeah. So what is after the mixtape? You know what? I have so many singles in my archives. Yeah. I have so much music and material waiting. But again, it's about finding the right time to drop, right time to release and what, what the people want, you know? So once the mixtape, and it's a real mixtape, like most of the songs aren't even... What's a real, what's a uh, real so mixtape? It's a mixtape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not full tracks or whatever. It's just certain elements all put into one mesh, you know, produced by Mix Masters. So Shazar really worked hard on that. And after that, I'm probably going to just drop a few more singles. I have another mixtape waiting after that. Yeah. So just drop these things. Youngster, we're coming for you. Even <laughs> us, we want 29 mixtapes. By the time we're 29. <laughs> yeah. I can't concentrate. Are these new or have I not seen them before? Yeah, this one. I'm sure you saw this one. The lion. No. Didn't you I see don't this remember one? it. No. Okay, yeah. This one is representation of being a Leo. My birthday's on Tuesday. Yeah. I hope you're going to buy me a present anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's the microphone. This yeah. one's new. Fairly new. I got it two weeks ago. Um, with roses. The microphone in the rose, rose yeah. garden. So, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, I'm trying to get one too, so I couldn't because I, I don't know these. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know these, so my eye just kept going, so I had to ask. Oh yeah, no, it's yeah. almost there. I'm filling up the whole arm. Yeah. I'm pretty excited to be why do Why do you do that? Is it because I know you always want to get one, but what's with the whole sleeve? Like, the sleeve, you know what? I think for me, being an artist is being an artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love art, um, whether it be visual, audio, I, and I like having it on my body, so. Every time I look at my arm or I look at my body, it's a reminder of who I am. You know, everything I put on myself is who I am. I'm not going to go and put a random, uh, you know, here and, you know, 
stuff yeah. like that. I'd yeah. rather just put stuff that means something to me. Yeah, okay, got it. I get it, I get it. So the sleeve is just an expression of who you essentially are. That's it. I get it. All right, so the mixtape is coming soon. Singles coming soon. Are we getting videos for like, you don't like videos, do you? Except the freestyles. Like sh the only video she does is freestyle, which is like, do, do, pow, pow. That's when you know she's angry. Like that shook one's freestyle, I was like, mm. Yeah, I was very upset. Dude, I was <laughs> yeah. mad. Yeah, you were. I was mad. What was man. happening? Yo, during that time, that was when the contracts were being done. Yeah. And like, I literally had nowhere to stay. You know, I they said, okay, we're gonna put you in your crib. I had, I had no home. Legit. Sheesh. I was out, out of the crib on the streets hustling for real. And after that, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna speak about these people that give you deals and they lie to you and those okay. small little terms and conditions they Ish. at the bottom yeah, no, no, no dog they killed me so I decided let me lash out yeah. in the right way you know so yeah I'm okay now I, you're okay now I like that she's yeah. okay now. seems okay. like the car has become an are you okay plot <laughs> <laughs> I had kid X here and I was like are you okay <laughs> I'm okay <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. We need to know, see what's going on. I really wanted to find out, like, you kept on saying, Is someone out there signed me, you know? Yeah. It wasn't concerning, but it was, it was intriguing. Because, yeah. like, everyone's like, oh, independence is the way, and you have a different approach. Yeah. But now that you've thought it through, and you've started to just do it yourself. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, you will wait for them to sign you. So Inevitably. what happens in your life while you're waiting? So I that's like the it. progress. Thank you. I like to see you on the TV. I like that the people are showing you love. Just keep they going, are, man. man. I'm gonna keep, I'm keep going. And you asked about the videos. I'm gonna give you videos. Yeah. I just want to give you proper, proper videos. videos. Okay. That's it. Got it. <laughs> Meg Mafia, look out for the mixtape. I'm definitely just dropping it on Slick On Life. Also, look out for big things on Slick On Life. Issue. Hey. Broadcast live.